All right, the intent of this video is for you to learn how to construct parallel and perpendicular lines. All right, let's jump right in. The next construction that you're going to need to learn or be able to do is to construct a line perpendicular to a given line through a point on that line. So here's what that's saying. It's saying, given this point on this line, construct a perpendicular to that line through the point. Now, if um, you were to consult some other resources, they're going to tell you to do the construction a little bit differently than I'm going to do it. I'm going to say, let's go ahead and tie this back to a construction that you already know how to do, and that's the perpendicular bisector. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start by going ahead and getting my compass out. And now that I've got my compass out, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw a little half uh, a semicircle or half an arc. If you want to, you can draw the whole circle. I'm hoping that we can all agree at this point that this guy is going to be the center of our circle. And in particular, it's going to be the center or the midpoint of the segment whose endpoints are on the blue circle. Now that said, if we can go ahead and construct the perpendicular bisector of the segment determined by the red endpoints, and I guess I should have made those guys red and not the center, but if we can go ahead and construct the perpendicular bisector of that line segment, it'll have to be perpendicular, and it'll have to pass through the midpoint, which is the center of our circle. So I'm going to go ahead now, and I'm just going to construct the perpendicular bisector of the segment determined by those two red endpoints. And this is a construction that you learned back on the very first day, and it shouldn't be anything new or different or earth-shattering. I'm going to have to go ahead, remember, and open up my compass to a little bit more than one-half the length of the segment I'm trying to bisect. I'm going to draw a nice big arc. I'm going to flip my compass around, and I'm going to put the point of my compass at the other end point of the segment that I'm trying to bisect. Draw another nice big arc. Get my compass out of the way and go connect the intersection or the points of intersection of those two arcs. So what I think is really cool is that without any ruler, without a, a protractor or any other kind of measuring device, you've in essence done two things. You've created a pair of congruent line segments, this guy and that guy, and at the same time you've created or constructed a 90 degree angle. Very, very cool. All right, just to make sure you've got your head wrapped around that, let's go ahead and we'll do that one more time. So again, I'm going to create a circle so that this guy, this little point, is the center of my circle. Really, I'm only going to create or construct half of a circle. But if you want to do the whole one, feel free to do the whole circle. All right, this is kind of interesting. Notice that I picked such a big radius length that my circle or my arc and my line segment didn't intersect. I'm simply going to go ahead and grab my straight edge and I'm going to extend that line. And you could do that with any line anytime yours don't intersect. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to think about these endpoints of my diameter as being the segment that I want to bisect. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the um, construction for the segment bisector. I guess I'll go with green this time. Oh, and I didn't pick a radius length that was quite big enough because I didn't make it greater than half the length of my line segment. So I'm going to back up a little bit, change my compass setting a little bit, and we'll go try that again. Keeping that same compass setting now, I'll go to the other endpoint. Now I can go ahead and draw my perpendicular bisector in there. So again, that really isn't anything new than what you've been doing for a couple days now. All right, so go ahead, pause the video. Give those examples down below a little practice, and then when you're feeling comfortable and confident with this construction, you can resume the video and we'll go on to the next construction. All 
right, the next construction is also a perpendicular, but now our point is not going to be on the line. So for instance, they want us to construct a line perpendicular to the line that they give us. The stipulation though is that our construction must pass through that point. I'm going to go ahead and dig out my compass first of all, and I'm going to start by putting the point of my compass on the point. I'm going to extend my compass so that as I draw an arc, the arc will pass through that line in two different places. What I want to focus on now is I want to focus on these two spots where the arc intersects that line. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move my compass down to one of those two purple dots. And I'm going to draw a second arc. I'm going to flip my compass around and put the point on the other of those two purple dots. And draw a second arc. And now I'm going to take the spot where those two arcs intersect and I'm going to connect it with the original point. So there's my perpendicular. All right, let's go ahead and try and practice that one again. So step one is to take your compass and put the point of your compass on the point that you're trying to construct from. Draw a nice arc that intersects your line in two different places. And those two different places again become the focus of our next couple of arcs. So we're going to focus on those little red dots and we're going to move the point of the compass down to each one of those little red dots. And this is really important that you don't change the compass setting in between those two. Get the compass out of the way, grab your straight edge, and you can play go ahead and connect the dots. So there's your perpendicular. All right, go ahead, again, pause the video, give those a try or a spin, make sure that you're comfortable and confident with this construction before you resume the video and we go on to the last construction for today. All right, last one for today, and last one for geometry even. Wow. Construct a line parallel to a given line through a given point. So in other words, what we're trying to do here is we want to construct a line through point P that's going to be parallel to line A. The way that we're going to do this construction is we're going to focus on something that we've known for a long time now. We know that any time we have a pair of corresponding angles that are congruent, our lines have to be parallel. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to construct a pair of corresponding angles that are going to be congruent. In order to do that, we need a transversal. So I'm going to go ahead and take my straight edge. And I can do my line at any angle I want so long as my line passes through point P. So that's my first step is to go ahead and construct a transversal. And then what I want to do is I want to copy this angle that's down here on the given line up here to point P. So in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and drag my compass out. I'm going to draw an arc down on the given line. And again, if you prefer a circle, you can do a circle. I want to take a minute and give that little scribble out of the way just because this can be kind of a confusing construction. I think I'm going to go with blue. And again, if you would like to, you can go ahead and you can draw the whole circle. I'm going to draw just the arc. Since the point of my compass was at the vertex of my angle down here, 
I'm going to move the point of my compass to the vertex of my new angle, which is going to be up here at point P. And I'm going to draw or create that same arc. All right, now quite possibly the next hint that I'm going to give you is the best hint in all of constructions. As you're doing this construction, always, 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 always leave the point of your compass on the transversal. I might even take a minute and write that down. Leave compass point on transversal. Always. Because remember, my next step in copying an angle is to go back to the original angle and measure the distance that that angle opens up. And here's the tricky part. We're now going to slide the point of our compass right up the, to the transversal. Don't stop at angle P. Angle P represents the vertex of your angle. You've got the point of your compass right now on the spot where that blue arc crosses the transversal. So you want to keep cruising past point P into the spot where that blue arc intersects the transversal. Then you can go ahead and you can draw your second arc, get the compass out of the way, then you can grab your straight edge and go ahead and construct your line. Now one thing that kids worry about a lot with these sometimes is that the, the lines don't always look parallel. But as long as your construction is done correctly, as long as your two blue arcs are the same, and as long as the distance between where those arcs intersect the sides of your angles are the same, the construction is done correctly and you'll get full credit for it. Again, what's really key here is make sure you follow that rule. Always leave the point of your compass on the transversal and that'll make this considerably easier. All right, let's go try another one together. We're going to construct a line parallel to the given line through the given point. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to create or construct our transversal. It doesn't matter which angle as long as your transversal passes through both the given line and the given point. Grab your compass and now we want to copy that angle. So again, the point of my compass is at the vertex of my angle. I'm going to scoot the point of my compass right down the transversal until I come to where I want the new vertex of my angle to be and create that same arc. Notice that the point of my compass stays on the transversal. I'm going to go measure the distance that that arc opens up. And then again, this is where I need to be very, very, very careful. Notice that the point of my compass is on the point where the red arc intersects the transversal. So as I slide the point of my compass down the transversal, I want to keep going through the point and to the spot where the red arc intersects the transversal. Then I'm all set to go ahead and make my second arc. And now that I've done that, I'm going to move the compass out of the way and grab my straight edge and connect those two points. And again, if they don't look perfectly parallel, I'm not going to worry about it because as long as my construction is done correctly and those arc lengths are all identical, I'm going to get full credit for the construction. All right, so the next one is all yours. Go ahead, construct a line parallel to the given line through the given point. All right, and this is the last one that we're going to do together. It says construct a line parallel to line AB at point C. And whether you realize it or not, this is really the same construction that we've done 
already. We want to construct through point C a line that's parallel to that guy. So this, they put the sides of the triangle in there, which can be a little confusing, but it's the same exact construction that we've been doing. In fact, it might even be a little bit easier because they've already put the transversal in there for us. You can either use AC as your transversal or you can use CB as your transversal. I'm going to use AC as the transversal just because it'll keep the orientation similar to what we've been doing here all along. I guess I'm going to have to go get rid of that all together and put a new one in there. So I just want to take my straight edge and extend that transversal. And then I'm simply going to copy the angle that's at A up to point C. Feeling in a purple kind of mood, so I'm going to change my pen color to purple. Up at point C, I'm going to draw that same purple arc. I'm going to go ahead now and slide the point of my compass back down the transversal. And I'm going to measure how wide that angle opens up. Once I've got that measurement, I'm going to go ahead and slide my compass right up the transversal till I get to the spot where the purple arc meets the side of the angle. Draw that second arc and go ahead and connect my dots. This um, construction is a tad bit trickier just because there's more stuff going on. There's a triangle instead of just the given point in the line, but it's not anything that you can't handle. And now this guy is congruent, or sorry, parallel to that guy, and you've completed the given construction. So we will practice some of these when you come back to class for the next time. In fact, we'll practice on wrapping up with all of your constructions. Uh, if you have questions or there's anything in the video that doesn't make sense or that you don't understand, now would be a good time to jot those down so that you can remember to ask about it the next time you come to class.